So for now, I'm kind of going to tweak the mix a little bit, and I'm going to time correct these guitars to use elastic audio. And it's really easy, and I'll show you. First thing I'm going to do is I name these down here, pad guitar, clean, delay guitar. And I'm going to make this one go a little to the left, and I'm going to make this one go a little to the right. And I'm going to listen. So the first thing that stands out on me is the timing of this guitar part, this, the last guitar part I played. So how do I fix that? You can see here, I'm early. I'm early, and I'm early. So um, I want to fix it. So I'm going to triple click on the whole track and I'm going to use what's called elastic audio. So I need to turn it on so I can quantize this part. And I'm going to turn it on right here. There's this little bitty, I don't know exactly what that is. It looks like a push pin or something. So I'm going to click on it and I choose polyphonic. If it was a drum part, I'd choose rhythmic. rhythmic. If it was a bass part, I'd probably choose monophonic. Um, or if it was like a saxophone or something. But this is a guitar, it's playing chords. I think I'm gonna choose polyphonic. And then all I have to do is go to quantize. It's under the event, event operations, quantize. And I say, I think I wanna do it to eighth notes, and I say, apply. So now, did you see these things move? Let me undo. You see how it, it, um, time corrected them. It moved them exactly right onto the line to the grid. I'm going to hit apply again and let's listen. I'm a genius. Um, so it's really good for fixing guitar parts, drum parts, anything. The thing to note is you cannot be way, way off the beat. It can't take something you didn't play to a click and make it to a click. You have to have played to a click and be pretty close to the note for it to go through and correct it. There is a way to tweak it, but I'm gonna, this is just the easy way. Highlight, turn on, polyphonic, and quantize. That's it. So now I've time corrected the guitar, and now I'm gonna also, another thing I would do is go through and clean up these intros so I don't hear any guitar noise. I'm gonna highlight Command F. I'm gonna do the same thing here, highlight Command F. And the other thing I wanna do is futz with the stomp box of this new guitar. I'm gonna go to the mix window. I'm gonna click on here. And I'm going to, I added, let me delete this and start over and show you what I did. I'm going to make sure I'm starting from the beginning. And I'm going to solo this guitar. I thought a delay might really kind of make it sound a little better, so I chose Lady, which I guess is delay. And the, it comes up with this preset using reverse definitely don't want reverse. I'm going to turn that off. And the thing I want to turn on is sync. And that says, hey, delay, I want you to work in time with my tempo down here, which is 69. <laughs> okay. Um, so there's sync. And then if we listen, it's weird, right? So if you'll notice when I put my mouse over time here, it's showing us it's a 16th note. Let's choose, there's eighth note triplet. Let's choose an eighth note and listen. I'm gonna turn down the mix a little bit so it's a little less delay. Feedback is how many times you want the delay to delay, to regurgitate for lack of a better word. So, I mean, I can turn that up. Makes it a little bit messier. I'm gonna turn that back down. But again, turn the knobs. Um, this red button right here is to turn everything off. So there's the guitar with nothing. Here's the guitar. There's the reverb. Here's the gate. notice right now I just heard where I punched in 
and I can see right there, uh-oh, I'm going to use the trimmer tool right here, and I'm going to say, hey, and then I'm going to take the, this. I can go to the super tool right here, which is the easiest, and if I'm down here, the middle, I've got the trimmer, if I'm here, where is it, the, there it is, and I'm going to say, all right, command F, crossfade. So, we have time corrected this track. We can go through and again tweak the stomp box of this part. So I can go here and say, all right, I'm going to start turning off. So you can kind of get a gist of what each stomp box is doing and it, how important it is to the sound or I can tweak it and turn it. It seems like one reverb is plenty. Okay, so let's save. I'm going to unsolo. I've got the click muted and let's just listen for a moment. I'm going to close this. Clean up the vocal. When I find myself in times of trouble, my Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be. All right, coming together. We've got the guitars fixed. We've tweaked the sounds a little bit, um, and now let's put down a bass part, and then we'll have some fun doing some vocals. <laughs> 